I often talk to a Chinese lady at school when I go to pick up my daughter from prep. Her son is in the same grade. I used to work with her husband a couple of years ago. She's very tall, beautiful, and stereotypically Asian. She's friends with my wife, who is also Chinese, and we often meet up on the weekends to have playdates with the children and so on. Two years ago, her eyes looked like this — a fairly typical East Asian eye. But then just this year, I noticed her eyes looking more like this. Can you see the difference? One has a crease or a fold in it. The other one doesn't. In China, they refer to this as Shuangyin Pi or double eyelids. Over the last couple of decades, they've become incredibly popular in many East Asian countries, especially China, Japan, and South Korea. Normal Asian eyelids are increasingly seen as plain, whereas double eyelids are seen as beautiful. So much so that young Asian ladies are actually paying thousands of dollars for cosmetic surgeons to essentially cut a line in their eyelids. The technical term for this surgery is Asian blepharoplasty. It's the most common cosmetic surgery in many parts of Asia now, and the third most common cosmetic surgical procedure in the world, behind only breast augmentation and liposuction. I can understand enough Chinese now that I worked out by myself that the lady at school had undergone some eyelid surgery recently. We were at her house having some lunch one day, and she admitted to my wife that she had done it. Her husband, a regular-looking Chinese man, jokingly said that he would have been better off investing his money in some cryptocurrency instead of his wife's eyes. Of course, none of them realised that I was following along. I guess they assumed that I had no idea about the terminology involved regarding the cosmetic desires of East Asian women. Later that evening, my wife just admitted it to me after I asked her about it. Despite many of these women resorting to invasive surgery in order to make their eyelids look more beautiful, they are very quick to deny any such allegations. You often see it in Japan and Korea on social media or whatever. Most ladies are too embarrassed to admit that they've had the procedure, and as soon as the media starts to speculate, the ladies will deny it and insist that they have always had double eyelids. It's easy to criticise these women who have resorted to having this surgery done as being ashamed of being Asian and trying to look more Caucasian, but to be fair to them, double eyelids have now become the gold standard of beauty in many of these countries. Many of their pop idols and favourite actors all have double eyelids. According to the South China Morning Post, even some children as young as nine are getting the procedure done due to peer pressure, lack of self-esteem, and in this particular case, because the mother insisted her daughter have the cut before the family moved abroad. Obviously, I'm not trying to pick on East Asians here. Women, and increasingly men, all over the world are feeling more and more pressure to look a particular way. They're getting breast augmentations, lip fillers, nose jobs, hair transplantation, tummy tucks, facelifts, the list goes on. Of course, if you know anything about me, you'd also know that I really don't agree with any of this. In my opinion, embracing your natural looks and shape is much more appealing than someone who resorts to surgery in order to meet some sort of unrealistic societal expectation. If everyone looked the same, how boring would life be? But that's where cosmetic surgery is taking us, a group of people all getting the same procedures done in order to attain some sort of artificial, ideal look. It's not for me, and it certainly isn't natural. I'd just like to finish with a somewhat paraphrased quote from British speaker, writer, and philosopher Alan Watts. Regard yourself as a cloud. Did you ever see a cloud that was misshapen? Did you ever see a badly designed wave? When you look at the clouds, they are not symmetrical. They do not form fours, and they do not come along in cubes, but you know at once that they are not a mess. Do you criticise the way the stars are arranged? Do you ever say, boy, that tree is ugly? No. Nature is beautiful. We are just like clouds, rocks, and stars. We are perfect in our disorder.